for your people. Yes. To declare victory in your son Jesus' yes. name. We understand, God, that we are down here. We have so many complications yes. and light things that we have to deal with. Yes. Yes. Things that are so unpleasant, yes. but yet yes. still you have the power yes. to bring us out. Yes. So we thank you, God, thank you, God, that the moments of getting ready to give up, yes. you came in and you proved who you yes. were to us. You are a great Jehovah God. We thank you so much. Yes. Speak to us today through your word. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Almost. Gave up. My brothers and my sisters, the Old Testament, it has many aspects of God's laws that may not, but we may not quite understand in its fullness. Uh, go back and just read sometimes the laws of God in the Old Testament and some things we may not quite understand. One aspect is found in the book of Leviticus, chapter 15. When you get a chance, read that. When a woman, right quickly, has a regular blood flow, the impurities, I'm not going to stay here long, of her monthly cycle may, stay with me, may last seven days. And, and one who, who touches her, the Bible, says that if you touch her, you will be unclean yes. till evening. Yes. Also, when a woman has, uh, going back to the cycle thing, uh, uh, when she's dealing with that, she's considered unclean as long as she has a discharge. Yes. Yes. It all tie in, so stay there. All right. Love your seat belts and stay there. All right. Anyone who touches the Bible, the Bible, the Bible says, touches them will be unclean. Yes. Yes. Not Hopkins, but the Bible. Their, their clothes is unclean. Yes. Bathe with water and that they will be unclean mm -hmm. until evening. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Somebody might be thinking right now, Pastor, Pastor, you hear me? <laughs> this is an unpleasant message this morning. We don't really want to hear this, but the Bible teaches us what I'm trying to do is to help us understand one of our Lord's amazing miracles he performed. Come on. The woman that had in the past an issue of blood. The Bible says, and a certain woman. No name is given, which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians. The Bible says, and had spent all that she had and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. Mm -hmm. right. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway, the foundation of her blood was dried up and felt in her body that she had healed. She was healed of that plague. Can anybody tell me what was this lady's problem? It's here, the Lord presented it to us. Can anyone here tell us, did, did she have continuing problems? What is, what if the issue stops? She must wait seven days. Read it, read it to be declared cleansed. Mm -hmm. Leviticus 15 and 28 it says, but if she be cleansed of her issue, then she shall number to herself seven days, and after that she shall be clean. Jesus. She had not been ceremoniously clean for 12 
years. Long years. Come on, Pastor. This lady was financially broke. Yes. All right. All right. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I get a few ladies here to identify with Jesus. being financially broke? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you know how it is when you, when you got some money, everybody is with you. But when you ain't got nothing, right. then you really know who your friends really are. Mark 5, 26, it says, and I want to pull out a portion of the scripture. Verse it says, spend all that she had. Spend all. Doctor's bills. Anybody have any doctor's bills? Them things is not, they, 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 they got a way of changing. One, 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 one bill might be this price. One bill, how do they change bills like that? Uh, but she, she had spent all that she had. And Mark 5 and 20. Six, if you read that, you'll see the Bible says she was in pain yes. and not getting better. Come on, come on. Think about that. Think about that. You know how you, you hey man, you can, you can, you can, you can, hey man, be, be, be around folks. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Then they come back next Sunday, you know, they still ain't got no better. I'm praying for you again. Come on. Come on. All right. Uh, you read you ain't got better. Maybe you ain't got the faith that you all have. Yes. You know how we fix it up. You know how we fix it up. You know, like, you know, we fix it up. And you know, like I, I, I told you, I was praying for you. You ought to be better now. But the Bible says she was in pain and not getting better. What you preach, preach. I, I, I got you. What you think you what you, trust me, with all over the church and ask folks to pray, pray for me. You, I know I can't come in, but pray for me. Pray for me. She was. A social cast out. Social. Folks wouldn't deal with her. Stayed away from her. Didn't think she was good enough to hang around with. Come on, come on. Leviticus 15 and 31, it says, Thus shall ye separate the children of Israel from their uncleanness. When they defile my Tabernacle that is among them. Other words, other words, they couldn't come into the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. I don't care what if she bought a new outfit, she still couldn't come right. in because they considered her unclean. You know how you know how it is. You, you know you, you you have to watch folks. You have to watch folks. Some folks will throw their nose up at you, look at yeah. you. Yeah. up and down. I wonder what they're trying to indicate. <laughs> this lady, folks, would look at her. Here she come, cross over, get over on the other side. Uh, here she come. Don't, don't get too close. Don't get even close where the wind might blow on her and hit you. Uh, can you imagine bleeding every day for 12 long years? 4,383 days of bleeding, 144 months of bleeding, 624 weeks of bleeding, 105,192 hours of bleeding. Oh, Every time you turn around, she bleeds. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Twelve years Jesus. of psychological problems. Yes, sir. You, 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 you can't get her out of it. You can talk to her. Give her all the counsel that you can think about. Even pick up the new book and, and tell about the new way of coming out of situations or whatever. Feeling unclean with her. Untouchable mental problems. Living in the dust of life. Living where no one wants to kiss her. I'm not a lady, but I can imagine how would it feel that nobody wants to kiss you? 
No one wants to hug her. Everybody yeah, hugging. Right. You know, it, 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 she was, I can imagine, can I use all mine? She was outside of the temple. They said, the, 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 the priest said, hug your neighbor. Look, old door flew open, looked in there, Brother Brown saw somebody hugging a neighbor. But she couldn't get no hug. No family that will verbally claim, you know how folk got my cousin, that, that's my cousin right there. No one want to claim her, no husband. Everybody else getting married, you know, didn't nobody want to marry her. Children, no children. Now the question is, how would you feel? How would you feel today if this woman was you? All right. Are y'all playing with me? Right. See, 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 I've come to realize that it's easy to, to speak about what somebody else is going through. It's easy to do that, but when, when, when times turn and, and, and trouble comes your way, what would you say? Have you ever experienced things in your life that you almost gave up? Yes. Come on, come on. Yes. Have you ever had some complications in your life? Right. I know you say, I know you get happy, I know you listen to 1540, I know you enjoy the Lord, but have you had some complications? Y'all ain't helping me. I feel my help here. Right. Amen. That you almost gave up. But look one thing. That happened. Then she heard about Jesus. Hallelujah. And then she heard that Jesus was coming to her town. She heard that Jesus had, has healed others. And, and I can imagine she said, I wonder, can he heal me? I, I, I got the Bible. And the Bible speaks, the Bible speaks about my condition. And then you know how it is. And some folks, they, they know stuff about other folks' condition. And they use the Bible about somebody else's condition. Yeah. Maybe, maybe she thought Jesus could not touch her. But, 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 but I can touch his God. All right.
somebody, yes. amen, is going to try to stop me from getting close to Jesus. Yeah. She was desperate, my brothers and sisters. She had to get to Jesus. I, I, I don't know what you come to do, but I come here to get to Jesus today. Amen. amen. Anybody beside myself, did you come here to get to Jesus? Amen. 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 Gas too high to just to be getting up. <laughs> All right. But when we get up and come together collectively, we'll have purpose in mind. In a moment of inspiration, through bad health, through financial brokenness, through pains of not getting better, being a social cast out, having psychological problems, in a moment of not being hugged and no kisses, somehow inspiration came. The Jews wore cloaks with tassels on their four corners. The tassels had a blue cord weaved into it which reminded them of God's law. And it also reminded them of the duty to keep God's law. Some folks have our religious so superstitious Jesus. about everything. Jesus. What they do, they watch others. Jesus. All right. But they ain't watching themselves. Jesus. Have y'all noticed what type of world yes. that we're living in today? Man, man. Bad news spreads everywhere. Yes. Folks always got something to tell you yes. about somebody Yeah. I know I'll be able to get some happy on 
pain, my suffering, rise my stuff up. My disappointment, rise my stuff up. Do I have a witness here? Well, I should have been shouting. I 
said, Grandma wasn't able to be here because she had to go to work. I said, but Papa is coming. Let me tell you what I told him. I said, look, even when you go to college, yes. Papa and Grandma is coming to eat your food. <laughs> Yeah. All of us. Preach, you got some? 